truly important jobs performed by machine shops like this is the pieces with two diameters. These and many other types of pieces make this kind of military car possible. Here, for example, is a piece of two diameters in the form of a spur gear, an essential part of the transmission assembly. The teeth you see on this spur gear were cut on the milling machine after the blank has been turned on the lathe from the rough stock. The production of such gear blanks as this is an important part of the work performed on an engine lathe. The job usually starts as a piece of rough stock and a drawing on the shop foreman's desk. Warren, here's that spur gear blank for you to start with. Now bring the collar diameter down to two and one quarter inches. The shaft diameters down to one inch. The collar width is three quarters of an inch. The shafts are four inches long from each collar face. Now notice that the drawing allows you a leeway of minus two thousandths of an inch from the dimensions given. That's the tolerance of this job. We finish up the fillets here where the collar joins the shaft. It's already centered. I do it quickly, Roy, but don't spoil it. It's pretty important. Yes, I know. All jobs are important these days, and I'm all ready to go. Well, that's fine. Yes, I see you are. And Roy is ready to go. His lathe is cleaned and oiled, and as a good operator, he's dressed for the job. The safe way, with nothing loose to catch on machinery. Collar buttoned, sleeves out of the way, hair not dangling. The drawing, or the blueprint, constantly guides the good operator in his work from the rough stock to the finished gear blank. He studies the drawing carefully and figures out the order in which he will make the necessary cuts. Before doing the actual work, the overall dimensions of the rough stock should be checked to make for the job. Selection of the right size dog is important. It should just fit the large, not too small. The tail should point to the headstock. The center holes are clean and the tail center is lubricated. The rough stock is now placed between centers. The tail stock spindle wheel is turned until the piece turns freely between centers, not binding and not loose. Because the stock is rough and uneven, a first or truing up cut must be made before accurate measurements can be taken. The proper tool bit must be selected. A rough truing up tool is needed for the first or truing cut. It must be sharp and correctly ground. The tool bit is put in the holder, then placed in the tool post and the tool ring is used to set the bit to the correct position. Notice that the cutting point is slightly above the center of the stock to be turned. Good and safe operation requires that there be as little overhang as possible in both the holder and the tool. The tool post is turned in the slot until the tool bit is at right angles to a line between the two centers. A short trial cut is made to secure accurate measurements. The cut is stopped and the piece measured. The problem is to use the least possible number of cuts to bring the piece down to the diameter of the largest part of the finished piece. About one thirty-second of an inch must be left for the finishing cut to be made later. The rough stock is approximately two and one half inches in diameter and the finished diameter is to be two and one quarter inches. To leave enough for a finishing cut, the depth of the rough cut could be set at three thirty seconds. The decimal equivalent table shows that three thirty seconds of an inch equals ninety-three thousandths. Setting the tool against the work gives the operator a starting point. Moving the tool past the end allows the tool to be set in for the cut. These graduations are in thousandths of an inch so the tool is set for a cut of ninety-three thousandths. The operator sets the feed and speed for this cut and sees that all the controls are properly set. Then starts his cut. After about a quarter inch of the surface has been rough cut, the depth of the cut should be checked with calipers. The cut is then finished. Care must be taken to keep the tail center lubricated and properly set. If the cut is deep, the piece will be likely to get hot. This will make it expand and bind between the centers. The roughing or truing cut is made to as near the dog as possible, but never so close that there is danger of the tool striking the dog. Before accurate measurements can be marked off, a true end must now be turned. 
This becomes the reference point for all measurements of length. The facing tool is used to face the end. It must be so set that the cutting point is turned in slightly toward the face of the piece. He feeds the tool in by hand. The tailstock end of the work is now ready to be marked off for the finishing cut. The drawing shows that the shaft is to be four inches long. Notice this is measured from the end just faced, which serves as the reference point. The left edge of the nick marks the face of the collar, so some excess must be left on the face of the collar for later finishing. The nick serves as a guide for the rough cuts to size. The first rough cut is made to this mark and as much metal as necessary is taken off. Several rough cuts will have to be made before the shaft is brought down to rough size. The depth of the last rough cut must be accurate to leave about a 32nd of an inch for the finishing cut to be made later. The operator sets the tool for the final roughing cut, which will leave one 32nd all around for finishing. After the cut is started, he checks to see that it is not too deep. These cuts bring the diameter of the shaft down to rough size. However, the face of the collar is still uneven and must be faced. The same tool is used, but the position is changed. A 1 16th inch fillet is left to be finished later. The piece is now ready for the first of the finishing cuts. When used with the automatic carriage speed, the roughing tool produces a fairly smooth finish. This cut must bring the shaft down to within 10 thousandths of final size. The graduations on the cross-speed wheel must be used to gauge the depth of the cut in thousandths of an inch. After the cut is started, a check must be made to see that the depth of cut is correct. When this cut is completed, a finishing tool is used to finish the shaft and the face of the collar. Tool bits are ground to different shapes for different types of work. Here we have bits ground for rough turning, finishing, parting, threading, and radius forming. On this finishing tool, the nose is flat and narrow. The end relief angle, or heel clearance, is about 10 degrees. Notice the lip, which gives a fine cutting edge. Notice there are no side rake or side relief angles. The nose of a tool must be set parallel to the work and on dead center. This cut is to be five thousandths of an inch. After the cut is started, a check must be made to see that the work is to size. Since the drawing allowed minus two thousandths tolerance, this piece will be acceptable if it is two thousandths less than one inch. For facing the collar and finishing the fillets, a radius tool is used. The tool is set at a convenient angle to the collar. From the drawing, the exact length of the shaft is known to be four inches. Measuring from the true end of the shaft with a steel rule, the point of the radius tool is set at the correct spot to give the shaft that length and the cut is started. Feed the tool by hand for operations as small as this one. Only the fillet remains to be done on the tailstock end of the piece. To complete the job, the work must be reversed between centers. A smaller dog is selected. A thin band of soft metal is wrapped around the finished shaft to prevent bruising the finished surface. Now the same operations must be made on the unfinished end of the job. A rough cutting tool is again put in the tool post and the first step or the rough cut is made. Next, the roughing tool is used to make a nick for the other collar face. Material is left for finishing. The next job is to remove the excess material to bring the piece to rough size. As in every other operation, proper setting of the work between centers and proper lubrication are necessary. The rough cuts to size are completed on the shaft. Also, the excess has been cut away from the collar face, leaving a fillet allowance. Then the finishing tool is put in the tool post and the finished cuts on the shaft are made. After the shaft is finished to drawing dimensions, the collar is finished to its correct diameter. The collar is measured with a steel rule and the amount of oversize is noted. A rough facing cut is taken. It is checked again. Then a light finishing cut with a final careful check. 
This completes the facing finish cut to the pivot allowance. The end of the shaft must next be finish faced to the exact length specified by the drawing. To do this, the steel rule is used to measure from the finished face of the collar to mark the exact spot to start the facing cut. The facing tool is used for this operation. The piece is now ready for the final operation, the making of the fillets. The fillets, which add strength to the shaft, can be made with other bits, but a radius tool is ordinarily used. The radius tool is set on center, adjusted to cut the fillet on one side, then readjusted to cut the other side. The carriage feed is worked a little with the left hand, while the right hand feeds in the tool. This completes the machining of the piece. Constantly checked against the drawing specifications, the rough stock has gone through four different stages to reach its finished perfection. The first cut for roughing or truing prepared the piece with true surfaces from which measurements could be made. Next, the piece was measured for the collar and nicked. The third step was rough turning the shaft to size. The last step was making the finishing cuts true to a tolerance of two thousandths of an inch. Roy has turned out on the lathe one of the finished parts so essential today, one of millions being turned out every day on engine lathes. How does that look to you? I will soon find out. It's the dimensions. And you made good time. It's a good job. Okay, sir. I'll take it over to the milling machine and get started on the next one.